hi guys welcome to this video today i'm going to show you how you can use mailchimp for your digital marketing step by step if a digital marketer you must do email marketing to send emails to your subscribers so your customers they need to be constantly updated with news data from your company from your website so you have to keep them engaged and the MailChimp is one of the best companies that you can use to do this. You can use MailChimp to reach out to your customers at any time via their email boss without being affected by any algorithm. No need to do advertisement, no need to do anything. You can automate your website newsletter to your customers at any time according to your own preference. So without wasting much of your time, let us get started on how to use MailChimp. So this video is a complete tutorial of MailChimp. Hello. Let's get started. My name is Abrazak from Fastnumber.com. I am a web designer, digital marketer, and SEO expert. Today, I want to show you the tutorial of MailChimp. So if you visited MailChimp for the first time, just go to your account like this. That is the home page of MailChimp. I have created an account already. If you haven't created an account yet, just simply go to MailChimp.com. MailChimp.com, that's their website address. If you visit it, you click sign up. And I'm going to click sign up now. Before you sign up, you have to go to the plan that you want to sign up with there are different types of plan here premium plan standard plan essentials plan and free plan so most of the webmasters most of the digital marketers they use free plan here which is which you will need to pay zero dollar per month before you can start so you can change the currency here to dollar us dollar that is it is free essentials plan is six five zero dollar for now this is the discounted price so i'm going to pick this basic plan here and click sign up sign up for free here you enter your business email your username your password then you check this i don't want to receive emails about mailchimp then you click sign up after you have signed up then you go here and click and login you log into your account and this is how to log in you start to log in your email address or username you enter it here and this is your password this is the password email address that we use here and that is the password so i'm going to click keep me logged in here and click login now here is my dashboard but before you can log in successfully they want us to verify first so we are going to click send verification code they have sent the verification code to this mobile phone number now i have now i have logged into my account successfully i did campaigns password blog you can see we have about 307 contacts presently so what i'm going to do you to do for you today is first of all we are going to integrate it on our website for you to integrate it on your website you click sign up forms and here are the different types of forms that you can add on your website. You can add form builder here. That is the, you can add embedded form here. That means your website will have embedded form where people will enter their name, their email address, and they click subscribe. And this is the contact form. You can embed it into the contact form using contact form seven plugin. Then when people are contacting you, then they'll be indirectly subscribing to your email newsletter 
and this is the subscriber pop-up form this is the one i'm going to show you today so we click select so connect your website or publish your pop-up on your site so i'm going to click connect site here then we are going to enter our website name this is website name fastnova.com then i'll click get started now here is the code that they give to you for verify so you need to add this code to the head section of your website to get it connected so what i'm going to do is i will copy it copy to clipboard then i'll go to my website dashboard fastnower.com this is the dashboard then i'll go to the appearance and i'll go to team file editor because the head section is located at the head section so i'm going to find the head section here sidebar single post search bar i'm looking for team header this is the team header and that is it I'm going to place it in the head section like here this is the closing part of the head section and this is the opening part of the head section so i'm going to give it space and i will control v that is i have pasted the code the code is from here to here that is the code you can confirm it from here so after that one i'll click update update files now the file was been successfully updated then i'll go and click check connection so let us click connect site again i'm going to enter this website domain.fastnumber.com then i'll click select Next site domain.fastnumber.com, then click get started. This is the link they have provided to us. I'm going to click copy to clipboard, then I'll go to this website because they instructed us to copy this link in the head section. So I'm going to add a plugin here which can help us to add this code to the head section of our website successfully so i'm going to search for insert header insert headers and footer so let me install this plugin Let me install this one is that headers and footers custom code snippets so that's been installed and um, click activate it has now been activated so i'll go to the plugin section here this is the code snippets and that is this is that a plugin which we just installed it has turned to code snippets so i'll click on it so i'll add add new here so this is a header and footer here so by copy this code here i've copied it already then i'll come here and i'll paste it That code was being pasted it has been pasted into the head section so i'll click save changes it has been pasted to the head section of our website so i'll go here and i'll click check connection you can see success your site has been connected so 
So this website is now connected to Mailchimp. When we are ready, we can turn on the pop-up so that it appears on our website. This is domain.fastnumber.com. So let me go to this website here. Let us go to the home page by removing this link. Enter. can see on this website you don't see any pop-up no any pop-up is here so I'm going to turn this one on and I'll click close it has been turned on already the pop-up will display on domain.fastnumber.com and this is how it will going to display so let me Insert image from here. By clicking style, heading, you can choose the color from here. And subscribe to our newsletter. You can change it here. You can change anything. Subscribe or join our newsletter. Any language that you may use is up to you. So we join our newsletter, email address. You can ask for their name, first name. You can ask for their last name. You can also create a new field. So that's it. And they will click subscribe here. The subscribe let us let it to align at the center and this is the center align center it will align at the center now this is the disclaimer notes you can add your disclaimer notes here won't You won't publish your email address to third parties so they will enter here this is their email address you enter their first name that is it you can change the label here first name to so wordpress knowledge anything here so after this is the layout where do you want it to appear so you are going to let it appear like this this is going to appear no image no nothing if you want to the image to be at the header this is it if you want the image to be at the left this is it and if you want the image to be at the right this is it but for here now we will not use any image that's the layout and if you go to the setting how much time do you want it to appear you are going to choose five seconds after second five seconds of visiting the our website then this pop-up form will show up if you don't want mailchimp to show or to uh, this badge here to show up you can upgrade to the paid plan to remove this mailchimp logo if you want it to slide you can click here but we are going to use modal here and if anything is succeed we are going to click success image here and this is it you can change this successful notification here like thanks for joining us you can change it this is when they have successfully signed up to your newsletter so i'm going to click preview here to see how it's going to look on our website on a desktop this is how it's going to look this is on the desktop the way they will enter their email address their first name and they'll click subscribe and on the mobile phone this is how it's going to look if they click subscribe then they will enter their email their first name and they'll click subscribe so after you have, you have reviewed this then you click save and publish you are about to publish yes you are save and publish now you have published already so let's come back to this website and 
shell shell kit so i'm going to reload this website after five seconds of visiting you will see that the purple form will appear the second has started counting you can see it has come it has come now so join our newsletter our first name so i'm going to use one of this email address abdurazak so first name i'm going to test the abdurazak so i'm going to click subscribe Abrazak, I have found a unit one is already subscribed to this first number blog. So I'm going to change this email address like Abrazak, I have gmail.com, test Abrazak, then I'll click subscribe. So you can see, thanks for joining us. We have joined this email newsletter already. So let us go to this website. So I'm going to click here to exit from this page and here are the audience, audience dashboard. So let me click audience dashboard here to see email address or people who have joined this email newsletter. So these are people that have joined our newsletters. You can see Testa and Brazak. We have subscribed via pop up form. This is the time we have subscribed. This is it. And you can see, and if you click here like this, you can add other people using the add a subscriber, import subscribers. So, we want to import subscribers. Maybe you have gotten email addresses like we have gotten here in our Elementor. You can import contact from other tools here which you have already owned so click continue you can upload it here via csv file formats you can copy and paste it here so i'm going to click exist you can add contact here by manually so add subscriber This is their email address. Make sure that that person is has given you her email address, his or her email address. So what you will do is so let's say for example, this is the email address. Of the person who wants you to give, add him or her to your email list to your email data so given email address for example so wordpress knowledge this is our category so don't bother to know this and i'm going to add subscribe if this person is already in my list update their profile you can click here like this and you click subscribe click all contacts this is the one we just added abrazak yaya01.com we just added it here this one is here so the next step we are going to do now now that we have known how to add a pop-up form on our website and also how to add users on our email list mailchimp mail list so let's go to how to create a campaign for them so by clicking campaign here 
create and you click create campaign you are going to click email so choose regular here and this is where you enter your newsletter name first newsletter and you click begin this first newsletter people will not see it this is your own name that you give to it this exceed the send limits for your free account because we have 376 recipients so we are not going to be able to send this newsletter so i can go and use order of my So I have different types of email. So what I'll do here is I'll click create, then click email here and click regular. So I say first first data and click begin. Now that you have got more than 500 contacts, you need to upgrade to a paid plan to send your email. So that means you won't be able to send it because our newsletter is above 500 contacts. So we need to upgrade before we can send. So uh, since we can't do this, let me show you how you can send it. You click this from is edit it using to change your name and use something so that people can understand i just say fast knowers email address here you can change email address to the one of our company that we have different email addresses here so i'm going to use hello hello at fastnower.com That is good. So I'll just say support fast noise. I'll click save subjects. That one, if you not, you can add subjects here. This is the subject, this is the content. So if this thing is they allow us to do it all these things should be clickable since they don't allow us to do because we have over 500 subscribers or contacts we can't do it that's why we are limited to finish this video so what we are going to do is i will go back to this website and i'll go to the audience here this is the customer preference if you want them to be greeted with one unique email address after they have subscribed to your newsletter this is the subscriber preference and i'll build a preference center so your customer can communicate how they hear from you so immediately they have subscribed to your newsletter what will they receive via their email inbox so i'll click start building so we can start editing it here i'll click edit field Just say first of all, this is the email address, video, and logo. Just say this is, the, this is it. So, this one here that's the email address, and this is the test. 
and say welcome. Welcome to the first one that come this later. So this is their email address, their first name. If you want to update them or classify them into their WordPress knowledge here, this is the basic basic knowledge, professional experts. And that is it. So after that one you click save and continue and this is the domain choose a url for your preferences center so we are using to use a custom domain share custom landing pages and get a professional look when you connect your own domain so i'm not going to use any domain here this is the first no ads. i'll click save and continue you won't need to automatically send the url to your audience so I'm going to click continue. Publish was been. So your preference center is very good now. This is my website fastnower.com, fastnowars.mailchimpsite.com. So they have given me the mail uh, website. So the email address which we have created so far, if you want to know the report, the analytics about them, then you click all campaigns. And before the email address which I sent to people before, and see this is the newsletter, first newsletter is drafted. We just say uh, we just attempted to send it now, 9:30 a.m by november 5th november that is today so this is it i sent email address in the past so it reached 107 and 109 impressions and three people engaged so i'm going to click view reports to view the report of the campaign we sent in the past you can see total impressions that means how many people saw it how many people click the link in the new in the news data this is what all this means so this is how to check the report of your news data via mailchimp sign up form here you can click it click contact form let's select it So let your customer reach you directly with the contact form. So this is how they look will look like the email. They enter their email address, they enter their subject, they will enter their message, and if they click here automatically, and they will be submitted to your news data while they are contacting you. So what you are going to do is you click customize form with the email address subject message subscribe to our newsletter and you click so i'm going to click next here thanks for contacting now so we'll get back to you i'll click next here so search for or create tags so we are not going to create any tags skip tagging and this is the form link this is the form url you can edit it here so i'm going to copy this link here so click publish form check out inbox share the form url with your audience through social media or link to it from your website when people complete the form the messages will arrive in your inbox so what i'll do is check out inbox
so when people are contacting you this is where their contacts will form contact form how many people have uh, used it this is where it will come so by using this thing we just did so i'm going to create a page on my website here Just say contact. Save draft. Contact us now. As it. Okay. So that here, I'm going to give it a link. Then I paste this this link here. I just say enter. So when people click on it, it's a contact us. They'll be taken to this page. So I'll just take safe draft. So let me go to preview here. This is it contact us, contact us now then when people click on it like on the website when people click on it they will, this form will open and then they will enter their email address their subject email address subject i want to contact you hello can we collaborate and let's say that one is the email address and subscribe to our newsletter here is there already so let me share this email address because it has been subscribed to our newsletter already i just share it to amrazak at gmail.com then i'll click submit thanks for contacting us we will get back to you as soon as we can so let us go back to this website here our mailchimp dashboard and i'll click go to audience then i'll go to all contacts so these are people that have this is a person that has just submitted this form he just enter his email address and say amrazak yeah yeah no amrazak amrazak at gmail.com then the method of his contact in his contact form he used contact form this is the source and he just did it this is the time so using mailchimp is very important for you you can tweak it as anyhow let us go back to this year sign up form you can also see form integration you can integrate form on your website so so let's go and click select integrate form using mail munch preview jot form convert flow etc the analytics analytics of the email report so that is it social post from expert guide this is one of the email addresses newsletter that i sent to them in the past so if you click this analytics here at the left sidebar of your mailchimp dashboard you see the menus here and audience are there analytics is there campaigns automations audience analytics website content integration integration to integrate mailchimp on the website so let us go to use this analytics here i have used it already if you click it you click reports you click reports here 
and these are the analytics of your newsletter in the past so let's go to automation how to use the automation so welcome new users even when you are offline so this automation here as the name implies it will help you to create automated newsletters you can create thousands of newsletter in an hour then anytime people join to your newsletter then they will be seeing all these new newsletter in the specific time that you give to them via this automation and the way this automation works is we are going to you can see automate welcome emails to make a great first impression with the new customers so i'm going to click choose preview to join choose preview join is there but i'm going to click build from scratch that is from scratch will give us ability to create our own automated newsletter so i'm going to give it a name automated newsletter then start building so choose a starting point the contact is added when so this is my starting point my starting point is choose the starting point here so sign up for meals so my starting point is when people have signed up for mail then they will get welcome new sign up they will, i will introduce my brand i turn them into contacts into all new customers i turn this contact into a customer so i'm going to select sign up for email select this one then you click this include imported contact contact you have added to your audience can also enter through this starting point then i'll click start so this is the automated dashboard you can see automated contact sign up for contact signs up to fast normal block so these are the contacts what i'll do is add contact add the journey points here my journey point is first of all i will drag and send email and drop it here send email here yeah, send email so this is the email you can rename it here and the, to their email address it will it will go from my email address to their email address i can edit it their email address from name yeah yeah from fast noahs and this is the email address fast noahs at gmail.com then you click save email contact review the test this snippet will appear in the impossible at the subject line you customize it according to your preference and now click close email a great email was being added so once people have subscribed to my newsletter what i'll send to them first is email so the next thing i'll drag is tag or on tag i can tag them so by this one you click this add journey points here let me drag tag or on tag here That one will help you let us drag tag here another another time here i'll 
hard time or date. So it shows how long a contact will be delayed from moving forward. You can see that once they have subscribed to your newsletter today, then in the next hour, then they will receive it in the next one hour, delay for one hour. Once they have subscribed to your newsletter for this hour, then in the next hour, then they will automatically receive your email address. Uh, you can say for next day, that is two days, you can increase it to two, three days. After four days, they subscribe to your newsletter, then they will receive this email address. The email address which they will receive is this one. You can click here to edit it change the subject, change everything, enter an uh, image and uh, image is here and this is the, this is it, after 4 days, it will delay for 4 days before it sends to them, so, and you can go on and on and create thousands of email newsletters here, so if you go here like this, you can say if else, if or else, so we are going to add a probability here. If people do not email enter my email ad, email address, if they don't open it, then they, you can not send email address to them in the future. So this is how to use this shoes and if or else action you can see this is the yes if they open your email address then you give them another one send email here then you customize your email you click close if they don't if they did not open the last email address which you sent to them this is no then you go here like this you can unsubscribe them from your email newsletter because if they are there they will not be helpful to your customers so they are being unsubscribe already you can see if they did not open this email address you sent them in the first place then they are already unsubscribe from this email address already so these people you can give them tag delay time time or delay you can give it to them so let's say hours and the next 10 hours is the same you can go on and on and give them another one again you can continue so but know that this automated newsletter is a feature for pro user on a mailchimp uh, uh, email newsletter campaign so if you are not using NIT, you need to upgrade first, you can see, you need to upgrade to activate a customer journey. The essential plan is good for journey points and the standard plan includes 100 journey points, you can see. So if your company is very big or you want to create and use this automate. To use it, you log into your MailChimp dashboard. You go to the left sidebar and you click automation, and this is it. So, if you know that this video has helped you, please give it a like, subscribe to our channel if you haven't subscribed yet, and comment with any question you have to ask. Share this video out to your friends on WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, everywhere that you know that friends. Ah, share this video to them and if you need more information visit our website www.fastnumber.com you will know more information about how to create website how to do digital marketing how to do SEO thank you for watching I love you so much